Hey sweet peeps, it's your girl Rochelle back with another video. In this video, I am going to share with you my basic, simple candy apple cleaning method. This cleaning method is just simple as it gets. Nothing added, just hot boiling water and rinse. That's it. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you here in this video is how I do my cleaning method and how I do my rinse method when doing a large quantity of apples. Very simple. In a medium pot or it can be in a larger pot but here today I have a medium sized pot and in this pot is just water. Nothing added. You want to bring your pot to a boiling stage. Then you want to place your apples in the pot and just let them sit rotating them for six to ten seconds no longer than that you keeping them in there longer than that your apples will get soft then it will be hard for you to dip your candy apples so let's get started in this demonstration and as you already see over here I've already cleaned some and placed them in this bowl of cold water and I know a lot of you may have seen my other video where I didn't do a voiceover and it's just music. I did that on purpose. I shared it to my business page. But I will come to you with another video with me talking in this video and doing the step by step and the recipe for the candy apples. So let's get started. These are Granny Smith apples. Before dipping any apples, you want to make sure that you inspect your apples and make sure they don't have any cuts or any nicks in your apple. These apples that doesn't have those cuts um, will get you that bubble free candy. Okay? So make sure you don't want to clean any apples that got cuts in them. So make sure your apple doesn't have any cuts or uh, rot or is this, if it's really soft. Okay? So make sure you inspect your apples, remove the sticker and the stem. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is place in the boiling hot water my Granny Smith apple and rotating it for 6 to 10 seconds. If you like to count to yourself, go ahead and do so. And as I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Doing this cleaning method removes wax from your apples. As I remove these apples, I'm placing them in a bowl of cold water. This is my cleaning method. This is the cleaning method that works for me. And it does an awesome job with removing the wax from your apple. I don't add any extra. If your apple seems that it still has wax on it, it's okay to place your apple back into the pot and rotate it a little more. But you will begin to see your apple turn brown or so and that's okay. They're supposed to look like that because all the, the wax is removed from the apple. So as you place it in the boiling water, um, out of the boiling water and place it in the cold water. Now it don't have to be this size bowl, it can be a bigger bowl or your dish pan full of cold water, that's fine. That's your rinse method. Make sure it's nothing but cold water. Once you have rinsed, you can take it out and your apples will look like this. Okay, having a white residue on there is fine. You can take it completely off. But what you want to do is dry your apples completely. And after drying them, you want to sit them out, lined up neatly, and let your apples sit for 24 to 48 hours. 24 to 48 hours. The reason for letting your apples sit. 
because there is sap that comes out of the apples. It's a sticky residue. Once that is out, once they come out of the apples, you want to wipe them before dipping. So I just wanted to share with you real quickly my cleaning method that I do and this is it. So I hope you all enjoyed this simple cleaning method and remember to always dry your apples and place them on a cloth and you are ready for dipping. Any questions about this cleaning method leave it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to your sweet connection give a thumbs up for this video and share because I am coming to you with a whole much different ball game of the sweet game so stay tuned for other videos and don't forget to subscribe tell your friends about me we got this sweet game going on and I look forward to you in the next video bye bye